This person said, this woman is sick. She really said, Tamar Braxton, who's almost 90% black, is an exotical. So once again, we've got this person saying, Tamar Braxton is too black to be considered exotic. How dare you think you're exotic and be black at the same time, Tamar Braxton? How dare you equate blackness to being exotic? You're not allowed to do that. Only white women can do that. Only white passing women can say that they're exoticals. How dare a 90% black woman think that she can be seen as exotic in the eyes of society? Hey, I gotta tell you something. Black women have always been exotic. club so in today's video i want to talk about something that i keep hearing in the unambiguous spaces that if you are black you can't you can't be exotic and so i wanted to look up the definition of exotic exotic from according to webster according to webster saying introduced from another country not native to this place we're found or strikingly, excitingly, or mysteriously different or unusual. So there's nothing on here that says if you are only this race or that race, you can be exotic. According to the definition of exotic, it just means it's strikingly, ex excitingly, or mysteriously different or unusual. One thing about me, I've been called exotic my whole life. I just thought I was a regular black girl. Cause I knew something about me was different in comparison in comparison to other people. I always knew something about me was different because people treated me different. But then there was those some people that I guess you could call gaslighters who would try to make me not seem what I really am. Exoticals United made a perfect video about this about how we tend to see ourselves darker than what we actually are and that went for me with not only my skin color but also with my features like i didn't want to think like, i thought i was just i thought i was just black like everybody else i mean i have two black parents two black great great grandparents i just have a phenotype that just looks a little different and when i was real young i used to think i was different in a negative way like I used to think kids were picking on me because I look like an alien or whatever. My friends in college even used to call me Avatar in school because of how my eyes are so, like, wide apart. I mean, they're not wide apart. It's just the way they're shaped. I wish I could show y'all, but I really, really want to remain as anonymous as possible. I'm showing y'all, like, little bits of me just so y'all so can see that I'm not a phony. That's the only reason why I even care to show half of me. I just I want y'all to see that I am who I say I am. Just so there's no confusion here. You know, I keep getting trolls on my page talking about this or that. I just easily block them. But it's like, for my core audience, I want y'all to know that this is not fake. I'm not fake or any of that. Just so we can get the air straight. Just so we can make it clear. But anyway... So yeah, you can be black and exotic if you have certain features that are, and let's go back to the definition, strikingly, excitingly, or mysteriously different or unusual. So, or from another country, not native to the place where found. So people who look at me think I'm from like Africa or something. I never get like Europe or Australia. So I get Africa because of my features. I think people think Africa is still like a country where there's only black people there or something. Cause I do not understand what people say. You can't be black and exotic looking. 
Like, if you, I don't look like a regular African American female. And I, I used to think I was just a regular black girl, but people would treat me like an other in a lot of situations. To the point where, as an adult, it, it took me to up until adulthood, the last three or so years, to realize there is something extremely different about me. And I guess because Exoticals United, when she popped on the scene about three or four years ago, that's when I was, a light went off in my head for everything that I've went through. Because, <laughs> I, you know, nobody talked about this type of stuff before on live. Like, from the point of view from the lighter skinned people with the different features. Because there's featurism and there's texturism and there's all of these isms. And, you know, it took me all this time to realize that's why I dealt with what I dealt with growing up. And so, now that the light bulb is up, I, you know, I'm re I'm reprogramming my mindset about everything. If you, if you want me to be completely honest, I think the most exotic people have some type of a black feature. I mean, honestly, because if you have some black blood in you, black blood is come. It seems like to be the most dominant out of every race the black blood so when it seeps into your phenotype it just adds a different layer of exoticness so I'm trying to just debunk that whole black people can't be exotic because it makes no sense and so that's this is just a quick video I wanted to make and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like and subscribe. And thank you for listening. I will see you guys in the next video. This person says, how does being mistaken for a monoracial make one an exotical? Exotical is not a race, evil baby. She said, monoracials are always in exotical spaces and it's annoying. Okay, so your definition is that you cannot be black and have any sort of exoticism to your phenotype. So that's your own internalized anti-blackness, evil baby. Um, that's not something that I promote on this channel. I do believe that blackness can be seen as exotic. I've noticed that people who are black, they view non-blackness as exotic or people who are kind of like in line with the black community, they only view non-blackness as exotic. And then meanwhile, people who are maybe multiracial, mixed or non-black tend to view blackness as being exotic. So I fall into the second category and I'm never changing it. Y'all be asking any black woman you find beautiful or attractive what they're mixed with because you can't equate beauty and attraction to blackness. And if they're mixed with if they're mixed with something, right, then that gives a reason for why you find them attractive instead of them simply just being black. Actual biracial mixed people aside, and not just add a mixture in genes like due to slavery, I mean actual mixed people with like mixed up parents, you literally will see any black person you find attractive and try to exoticize them into being something else. And honestly, I would even extend it a bit to biracial and mixed people because there are biracial or mixed people that simply look just black or their features are mainly black and you will attribute the other to why you find them beautiful. You'll attribute the 30, 25, 20, 12% as to why you find them attractive instead of the majority of blackness that is in their DNA. And I wanna ask you why? It all points to you not finding blackness inherently beautiful or attractive and you need to find a reason why you do when you do when the t is y'all know we're beautiful and this is not to say that desirability politics does not exist because colorism textures and futurism all of those isms within desirability politics are 100 percent real and they exist within blackness though they do not just solely exist outside of blackness it's not something that oh this person has because there was something added to the blackness no they are just simply black and you find them attractive and yes some black